Hey, just want to give you an update to let you know whether they're going to pay for the damage that was done to my WR250R because of this Pro X aftermarket sprocket. Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Okay, so I received a call from Rocky Mountain ATV. That's where I purchased this Pro X Grooved Ultralight 13 tooth front sprocket aftermarket, of course. Before I tell you whether they're going to pay for this damage or not, I just want to give a brief summary of what took place because I know a lot of viewers may not be hip to what's going on here. Uh, first off, if you haven't seen my 3.0 uh, version unveiling video of this bike, I'll include the video link in the description and comment section of this video where I put a bunch of new mods on this bike, but I go over all the mods on this bike in detail, so you might want to go check that out. Um, but what happened was, one of the mods that I installed on the bike was this uh, Pro X 13 tooth uh, sprocket, front sprocket. And when I took it out, uh, my first test ride on the bike, after modding the bike, uh, which I'll include the video link in the description and comment section of this video where I show you uh, where the counter sprocket failed on the bike. The bike, after less than five miles of riding this bike, uh, the bike would not go into gear. Uh oh. What the hell happened to my gear? Oh man. And I looked down and I revved the throttle and it was actually the counter sprocket was spinning on the shaft and was grinding down the splines. Uh, so when I got home, I took, took the counter sprocket off, looked at the shaft, and the splines were ground down. And as you can see here on the sprocket, uh, most of the uh, teeth here are ground down. Okay. Um, when I purchased this sprocket, I felt uneasy about this sprocket when I received it. Because look at the OEM sprocket here. Look at the difference. This looks a lot beefier and thicker. Uh, this is thin, thinner, uh, but I'm assuming where the teeth are are pretty much the same size as the OEM sprocket. Uh, but I felt uneasy about it and I set up a return ticket to send it back, but the Rocky Mountain ATV technical support agent assured me that it would fit my bike. So I took his word for it and I installed it on the bike. Uh, and for those of you that question whether I put this counter sprocket on, on the right, correct side, uh, the Rocky Mountain ATV Tech Support, who called me today, they told me that it doesn't matter which side you put this on, it would not cause it to damage the splines. And they said the company Pro X, who makes these sprockets, confirmed it, that it wouldn't matter which side that I put this on, by the way. So I, that shuts you guys down that are saying I put it on the wrong side. It doesn't matter, and that's confirmed from Pro X and Rocky Mountain ATV. So there you go. Uh, but when I installed this on the bike, I made sure 100% that the teeth were on the splines, 100%. And uh, I even took, it was completely 100% flush. I know some of you are looking at this damage, you're like, okay, it wasn't completely on the splines. It was half off. No, I would not do that, okay? I would not have this hanging, only a moron would have it hanging half off the splines. It was 100% flush and I even took a mallet and just lightly tapped it, more for peace of mind, not to jam it on there or anything, just to tap it because I wanted, I didn't even want it a hair off. 100% it was on. And then I put the uh, spacer and of course the, the, the nut, torqued it to spec as the service manual states, 69 pounds feet of torque and I staked the nut down as the the service manual stated and I and by the way I even did a, a chain install video uh, and that was before I even test rode this bike it was right after I put the sprockets on the bike and I showed you step by step on how to put the chain on and I gave you tips on how to install the sprockets when you take the counter sprocket off make note of its position on the shaft there so that when you put the new one on, that you put it on the correct way. You have the counter sprocket tool and go ahead and tighten the nut.
For the WR250R, it's 69 pounds-feet of torque for that nut, by the way. And then you're going to have to stake the nut down. Just take a hammer and uh, tap down on that point there. Tap down on that point, and that'll lock it on. And then when you... I showed you in that video, after putting the chain on, I pulled out the Motion Pro chain alignment tool that attaches to the rear sprocket. And it lets you know whether the chain is in alignment. It was 100% in alignment. And I showed you in the video, which by the way, now I'm checking the alignment of the chain with this Motion Pro alignment tool, which by the way, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. But as you can see here, the chain is straight. And uh, I always make sure here the mark on this side is exactly the same as the mark on this side, which it is. Well, which, by the way, that video was not uh, sent to Pro X. So I didn't send that video over to uh, Rocky Mountain ATV Tech Support. I wish I would have at the time. All they went by was the pictures that I, I sent them. So I contacted Pro X directly with a detailed email uh, linking uh, both videos. The video I've installed many counter sprockets before, guys. On I, before my in my last modding of this bike, I put new chain and sprockets on, no issues. My CBR 1000 R installed a couple of counter sprockets and chains on there, no issues. Uh, my CBR 600 R never had any problems in start installing counter sprockets. I'm very meticulous. Very detail oriented when it comes to installing uh, chains and sprockets because it's not only the lifeline of the bike, but it's for the rider's safety. It can be very dangerous if counter sprocket the sprockets are and chain are installed incorrectly. That's not something you want to play with. Believe me, I don't play. It takes me an extremely long time when I put my sprockets and chain on. I don't rush through it. I'm very 100% careful. But like I said, I did not feel right about this sprocket at all. And that's on record with Rocky Mountain ATV. I can't. To give you an update, yeah, Rocky Mountain ATV called me. They said that they sent the information over to Pro X, spoke with them, and they said that it was the counter sprocket was probably stalled incorrectly, which is a reason for the damage, and that they will not pay for it. However, Rocky Mountain ATV said that they are they feel bad for me, and they will offer me a discount on any parts that I need because they are a Yamaha authorized Yamaha dealer, so they can give me. A discount on the OEM parts, which is all fine and dandy, uh, which is great. I mean, they could have said they couldn't have done anything at all, so you have to give respect for that. Uh, but they said this is a matter that I would have to take up with Pro X as a company. And like I said, I did send an email, detailed email over there, uh, requesting for compensation for this. And like I said, I sent the links to the videos, uh, especially the one showing the chain was in alignment. And that, so I'll keep you updated on what's going on. Um, but anyways, guys. For those of you that always ask me about my gear, where did I get my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos, or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear, and those are links to all of my gear, all my stuff, cameras, everything. And for those of you that want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with over 1,200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through. Hey, hit thumbs up. It really helps me. Uh, get motivated to do more videos when you hit thumbs up and you participate by commenting. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, so, hey, subscribe to my All On Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Case is a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.